Welcome to episode 22 of building my first model railway and my YouTube channel Chapel Station. Well that was a dramatic entrance wasn't it? Um, I'm guessing you're thinking, what's going on? Well hopefully this helmet is a bit of a giveaway. Yes I was in the fire and rescue service. In fact for 11 years I was the chief fire officer here in Jersey um, from 2007 to 2018. And certainly one of the most dramatic incidents I attended during that time was when Jersey's main gas holder in the centre of St Helio caught fire. I'll put a clip here, a video clip in here of the actual fire and you can compare it to in my model. Well, as you can see, a really dramatic incident. It took 24 hours to put the fire out. We had to evacuate the whole of the centre of St Helier, about a square kilometre, uh, and that was about 6,000 people uh, had to be rehomed overnight. So a really dramatic, really visual incident and uh, quite a lot of challenges in, in putting that fire out. Uh, so when I decided to have an industrial area on my railway, I thought I've got to have a gasworks. And if I'm going to have a gasworks, I've got to set it on fire. I think uh, railway modelling is all about capturing moments in time, memories, of your childhood and, and other things. So um, to, to, to capture the, the fire at uh, Jersey Gasworks uh, was, uh, was really important to me on my railway. So really, as soon as I started thinking about modeling, I thought, yeah, that's what I wanna do. So hopefully I've done it justice. Hopefully you enjoyed the introduction and, uh, and, and thought it looked quite realistic. Uh, certainly was at the limit of my model making and my filmmaking to actually film it. Uh, so in this episode, I'm gonna show you how I done it. I got a, a, lot of, um, a lot of lessons I learned from YouTube, so I'm going to put a few links in the description of uh, other modellers that sort of inspired me to create the fire and, uh, effect um, and some of the suppliers where I got my fire engines from and that I like. Uh, so if you want to know more, look on the description. Uh, so hopefully uh, you'll, uh, you'll enjoy the video and might learn a thing or two. Uh, so let's get into making some fire. So to create the fire effect on the gas holder. Um, I started with a reference photo though I was at the, uh, at the fire. Um, obviously it's good to have a single reference photo just to, to build from. Um, and as you can see from the fire, the, the other, sorry, the photo, the fire started when someone was working on the, on the platform um, to uh, seal a leak and then there actually caused a spark which ignited the, the gas which then burnt up the side of the holder. So I just, um, before I put the structure on, I painted just the outline of where I want the fire to be, just using um, these ammo, they're actually the railway, um, rail paints for um, doing the weather in the railway. So I use those just to create the outline, to create the orange and the black. Then, um, then before I put the actual superstructure around it, I then used this little blowtorchy thing which my wife had for silver clay making but i think you can also use it for cooking and that um use that quite carefully because obviously it's quite strong just to melt i don't know how well it's capturing it but just to melt the um the structure of it and twist it which is actually what happened you can see that on the photo what actually happened at the instant because we're worried that the 
the holder wouldn't actually move down anymore. So yeah, just to melt it in places where the main heat of the fire was. <clears throat> I've done a little bit on the actual um, raving as well, which I just grab again quite subtly. You can see that. So when that goes on there, again, it's just going to be melted from the other side as well. Um, get that focus. So again, when it goes on that, when it goes on that side, so again, near the point of the main heat source, it melted. I haven't put them on yet because I now want to um, actually create the flames and put the lighting behind it as well. So that's the next stage, so I'll try and capture that on video, but I just want to show you how I've done that initial um, fire effect on the side. I think it looks pretty effective, but uh, there's still quite a lot to do. Unfortunately, I didn't uh, get around to filming me actually making the flames themselves, but I copied some ideas off YouTube for making flames on dioramas. And basically I just used a hot glue gun and I just put some glue onto, uh, I used a Pyrex dish so it doesn't stick and just layered it to make a sort of a, a bit of a flame shape. Um, once that cools, then that's just a matter of peeling that off and you get this quite flat but, but flamey type shape to it. Um, then it's just a matter of using some paints to just layer some yellows and oranges and reds um, onto the actual um, dried glue to sort of make it look like a flame effect. Um, mainly yellow, but then with elements of uh, orange and, and bits of red and bits of black in it. Uh, and again, just using a reference of uh, some flames. So a photo of some flames to do that to try and get it to look as realistic. It's going to be quite hidden behind the actual smoke, so you won't see them that much anyway. But um, obviously, I do want to look as realistic as I can. Um, and so, yeah, fairly pleased with, with the result that I got with that for the first time. Okay, so I've now got all the component parts for my fire. I've got the gas holder sitting in the background there, which had the uh, side painted ready and melted, I showed you earlier. Um, I've got um, some wool that I've sprayed grey for the smoke. I've got these bits of glue flames that I made up and I've now finished painting, which a uh, brilliant artist, but I think that looks a bit like a flame. And then um, I've got some lights. So I've got a, a train tech fire effect light, which uh, if I just put on this nine volt battery, You'll see, hopefully you'll get the, uh... so you can see that so it's quite bright, I don't know you can see it on the camera, but then if I put it behind there, hopefully you'll see that it's, it's quite a good fire effect. Um, and then, because um, it's quite a big area, so I thought best to have more than one light, I've got this little light strip that I had left over. Uh, and that I've just painted some of the LEDs. Um, again, yellow and orange with the paint I was using for the flames and wired them up. Uh, and again, I don't know how well you can see that, but again, through there, it creates a, quite a nice effect. So the aim now is to, let's move you over to the um, gas holder. So the aim now, sorry, dodgy camera work is to draw some holes in the side here so I can get the LED lights glued in. Then fix the flames on the side so the LED lights shine through. And then put a bit of smoke effect over that up the front as well. Uh, and, then, uh, and then just put the railings back on that I showed you earlier, glue them back on and then that should all be done. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all that now and uh, I'll show you what the finished results look like in a minute. So that's everything now glued in place. Um, and it's got a bit of hairspray on the smoke to keep it up. I'll just put the lights on. There you go, there's the fire. It's a proper blaze there, as you can see. And the smoke going up. So, and then from the side, so it's all burning. So 
yeah, I think that's pretty effective, that. Go around this side. So I'm quite pleased with that now. So I'm ready to put in the layout. So here's my gas holder now on the layout in position and, uh, and I've wired it in already and I'll show you that in a minute and here are the um, fire engines and the police car that I bought that you saw on the intro. So these are from, I think it's called Code 3 um, on uh, eBay. I bought them direct from him. Brilliant little detailed man fire engines. I chose these ones in particular because Jersey did have man fire engines certainly when the gas holder fire was and they're really nice and detailed uh, so yeah if you look at them up close they're brilliant little fire engines got all the all the detail on them and the same with the police car and it's amazing how how he manages to get the little LED blue lights on in them so I've got one pulled up outside, as you can see there. One is pulled into the actual car park, they're probably a bit close in, in reality, but, and then the police car is close off the road and trying to deal with all the public that are gathering to watch it. So wiring up, I just extended the lighting. I've brought two, um, as you can see there, two wires that come around from the lighting bar around the other side near the chapel station. And then I've just got the positive and negative, and then I've used the same bus bars over this side, and then just fed all the positives from the uh, layout from the fire engines from the gas holder, and I've put a few lights in as well. So I've got a few more street lights. I think I've got a light there, I've got a yard light here. I still want to get more light in, but these are ones I already had, and a couple of street lights down there. So I've got all those now going into that connection there. So I'm just going to go over and turn that on and then I'll show you them working on the layout. So that's all the lights switched on now. As you can see the uh, fire effect on the gas holder is pretty good. The flickering red and orange lights coming through my glue flames and the smoke. Especially from a bit of a distance I think uh, that's uh, looking pretty good. And then the fire engines look really... Um, Really good, I think, with their blue flashing lights. I've got, I think it's 12 lots of flashing lights on them. Got two on the roof bar, two on the front, two on each side, and then two on the rear, as you can see over there. And then the little police car, he's just got two on the roof and the flashing headlights, which again, I think they're really good. And then you see I've created a little scene there with the, um, Police officers, I already had the, the spectators um, from my railway, but the police I ordered, the Batman um, police and security set. I think they, they look pretty good. I'm just waiting for some firefighter figures to arrive, so I can set up a little firefighting scene, which hopefully you will have seen in the introduction video, if they actually arrive in time. And I've also got these kind of security people as part of that Batman set here on the, on the gate and the gas van stopped as well. So all in all, I'm pretty pretty pleased with how that's turned out. Um, I must say it's quite a memorable incident for myself, so uh, it's nice to be able to model it on my layout. I think yeah, your, your layout is all about creating memories and times in your in your life and special places and special events, so, uh, so it's good to be able to capture this and, uh, in my layout as well. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, special video. Um, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and if you want to be notified of future videos, hit the bell icon. The only thing now remains for me to do is to finish the industrial area down here, which will be in my next episode. So uh, please look out for it. I hope you're enjoying your own modeling. Please give me some comments and feedback if uh, if you want the same thing and um, hopefully I shall speak to you again soon. Thanks and bye.